Hey guys, it's Darren. So we're still working our way through this layout thing and I want to look at something that a lot of people who use layout don't know they even have access to and that is what's something we call presentation mode. This is a way to view or display or share your layout file right from within layouts without having to do any kind of exporting or anything like that. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look. It may be something that you could use and you don't even know you have access to right now. Here we go. Okay, so I have the same presentation I've had. They've added all these different images, these pages too. So I'm just gonna go to the first page. And uh, one, one preset that I have for presentation mode is where it's gonna display. If I go to my preferences menu, preferences under layout on Mac, it's in the windows menu on windows. If I go to preferences and go to the presentation tab, the only option I have is where do I wanna show this presentation? So right now I have it set to just show it on the same monitor as the, the layout window. So if I want to automatically jump to a second window, I can set that by clicking like on a secondary monitor. But uh, right now I'm gonna keep it on the same one I'm in. That's good. All right, so to get into presentation mode, the only thing I really have to do is come over right here and click on this little monitor. This is start presentation. And that's gonna to go to full screen, not full screen, but full page. It's gonna get a page as big as it can get on your screen. So this document was optimized to be exported on a letter sized piece of paper. If you're creating a document, a layout document that you want to show on a presentation, you may wanna create a document that is a 16 by nine ratio that's gonna fill a standard monitor. So once I get in here, uh, I am limited to what I can do. I can go through the pages. My arrow keys will let me do that. So if I hit the right arrow key, right arrow key, it's gonna take me forward one page at a time when I hit right arrow key. Left arrow key, of course, will take me back. Left arrow key, left arrow key. Uh, the down arrow key will take me to the last page and the up arrow key will take me back to the first page. So pretty simple, easy to navigate. The goal here is that rather than say generating a PDF and paging through it in front of a client or something like that, or exporting a bunch of images and dumping them into PowerPoint, you can just do it right here from layout. A couple of the big advantages that we have by doing this in layout, rather than going out to another place to export or share your uh, documentation, is one is annotations. Um, and I know I can do this in PowerPoint or something like that, but if I say, oh, I don't, I don't like these chairs here, I wanna get rid of those, I can just go ahead and draw on them. I will have the option when I leave the presentation then to hold on to these annotations or get rid of them. So if they're just temporary, if I'm just, you know, goofing around, I just want to, you know, make things happy because we need happiness, then I could do something like that uh, and just dump it out. But if it is important notes, annotations where I, I want to remember to remove these chairs later, I can keep them when I come back in. The other thing that's really nice is if I double click on an image, I can actually spin it around in model space. As soon as I click out, it's gonna go back to the view I had before, but double clicking on it will allow me to navigate through it. So this is really nice because I can just dump a model on here. Uh, I could come up in layout with the view I like best, but know that during the presentation, I can go, oh, you wanna see what the backside of that chair looks like? No problem. I can spin it around like that and take a look. So a nice option to have when you're showing your uh, SketchUp models inside of that document. Likewise, as soon as I come back out here, I get back right into my annotation. So if I wanna make sure I add, a, I wanna add that there and I wanna get rid of this, I can do that kind of documentation here too. And if I do just tap a single click, it automatically goes forward. What, why do I have that? Okay, that's a good spot to do an annotation. So a single click will move me forward, uh, and then the arrow keys will let me move backwards and forward through the document. Once I'm done, just tapping the escape key will take me back out. And here's what I was talking about before. Now it's gonna say, you have made changes in the presentation. Do you wanna save the changes? If I say no, all these red lines that I drew all over my document will get thrown away. If I say yes, I wanna keep those, hop back over here, now these pieces are actually on the document. That doesn't mean I have to keep them, of course. I can come in here and just, I can get rid of any of these pieces. I don't have to get rid of them, but it might be a note to go, oh yeah, that's right, I didn't like this. I didn't, or the client didn't like this part of the presentation or, or whatever, so I can come in and just get rid of those pieces. 
just serve as a reminder to, to make that cleanup, something like that. Um, but it is nice because it's not immediately dumped the second you come back and you are in a position to clean that up right away when you take your pre finish your presentation and bring the document back in the layout. So I know it's simple, but a lot of people see that little button up there and they maybe click on it once or twice and they go to a full screen and they think, oh, that's it. But there is more to it. So you can navigate through there. You can include that, those drawings on there. And the biggest thing, I think what I think is the most powerful part is that ability to go in and show your model because, well, you guys already know this, right? So showing a picture of a building you've designed is great. Showing an animation is, is even better but being able to go in and actually navigate and spin around and look at it in 3D space, that's awesome. And being able to do that right inside your presentation is a great way to take your work and present it on the next level. So hopefully you like that. If so, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We do a handful of videos every single week and you'll be notified of each of those, including our live streams, if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment. Most if not all of our content nowadays is derived from comments from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more and showing something you want to see. Thank you.